My name is Dylan, and today I will be going over Chapter 7 of the Barron's AP Economics book. I'll talk about what you need to know in this chapter for the AP exam, both micro and micro. What you need to know in this chapter are four topics. Externalities, private and public goods, social costs and private costs, and market failures. An important concept to know for this chapter is that sometimes transactions don't include all of the benefits or costs related to the price of the transaction. These benefits and costs are called externalities. An example of an externality is the environmental impact of using gasoline. The price of a barrel only reflects the cost required to make it, not the damage it causes to the environment. This is an example of a negative externality, a negative benefit from a transaction. A positive externality is a positive benefit from a transaction, such as saving the environment when using solar panels. These benefits and costs force the government to intervene, because the market cannot achieve true efficiency. If a good has a positive externality, there isn't enough of it being produced. If a good has a negative externality, there's too much of it being produced. The market only achieves efficiency for the firm, not for society. The firm will always produce where the marginal benefit equals marginal private costs. The firm does not care, care about society at all, it only cares about itself. Social benefits and costs are for the whole society. Because the market only cares about private benefits and costs, the government needs to step in to raise or lower production. There are two types of costs and benefits, private and social. Private costs and benefits are related to the firm, whereas social costs and benefits reflect that of the whole society. Social costs are how much it costs society to produce something, and social benefits are how much it benefits society to produce something. Private costs are how much it costs the firm to produce something, and private benefits are how much it benefits the firm to produce something. This graph here shows positive externalities. In this graph, there are three lines. One for the MPC, one for the MSB, and one for the MPB. The MSC, or the marginal social cost, is equal to the marginal private cost, because this good benefits society as it is positive externality. Therefore, the only cost to society is the cost to produce it. It doesn't hurt society at all. The equilibrium output is right here, where the marginal private benefit is equal to the marginal social costs. However, there is more benefit to be captured. The government can opt to subsidize production to increase output to where MSB is equal to MSC. The difference between the MSB and the MS MPB line is called the externality. So this difference right here is called the externality, and this benefit is not captured to by the price of good. The firm would normally produce here because the the firm it costs this much the firm to, it costs this much for the firm to produce it and but the and the firm gets this much right here. If the, if the firm were to produce here, the firm would lose would only get this much benefit. It would actually lose benefit by producing here and the firm is operating at a loss. Therefore the government must need to subsidize production. And this graph right here is the opposite. It's just negative externalities. And like the other graph, there are three lines as well. However, this time the lines are the marginal social cost line, the marginal private cost line, and the marginal private benefit line. This time the marginal social benefit line is equal to the same thing is the same thing as the marginal private benefit line because it is a negative externality. Therefore the good hurts society, and the only benefit to society is given to the firm that produces it. The equilibrium point is again equal to the where the marginal private benefit is equal to the marginal private cost. However, the equilibrium production is too high, the pr and the price is too low, and the output is too high. The government can choose to tax the good to reduce consumption. By taxing the good, it will shift the equilibrium price to where the marginal social cost is equal to the marginal social benefit. This difference between the marginal social cost line and the marginal private cost line is again another externality, and it's called the negative externality. And so this difference right here is a negative externality, and by taxing it, the government can move production to here, which is less than it, which it normally was, and it's higher, the price is higher. There are two different types of goods, public and private. Public goods are non-exclusive and non-rival consumption, whereas private goods are exclusive and rival consumption. Non-exclusive means that it's impossible to prevent someone from benefiting from the good, even, even if they're just a freeloader and they didn't pay for it. Non-rival consumption means that one person's use of the good doesn't deny another person the use of the good. For example, TV shows are non-rival, because if one person watches it, another person can also watch it. However, pizzas are rival consumption, because if I buy and eat a pizza, you can no longer buy that same pizza. There are also quasi-public goods. 
The two types are artificially scarce and common resources. Both of these are neither pure public nor pure private. Artificially scarce goods are exclusive but non rifle consumption. It's like a pay for TV, TV show. You have to pay to use it, but if you watch it, it doesn't prevent someone else from also watching it. Common resources are non-exclusive but rival consumption. Fishing waters are an example. You can't prevent someone from fishing in the ocean, but the constant fishing depletes the ocean of fish that hurts other people when they try to go fishing. That's it for this chapter. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something from this video.